This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. In the contemporary world, time is one of the most valuable resources. Having time means accomplishing more productive tasks, making a larger contribution, and having a stronger impact. An individual with well-developed time management skills is wanted at any workplace due to their ability to produce better results. As a concept, time management is applied to a variety of spheres of life, such as career, education, self-improvement, and private life, and is a basis for personal planning and organization of individual resources. Each day lasts for 24 hours. However, some individuals can fit many more tasks and accomplishments within this time than others, and the key to this ability is good time management. Time management is best described as one's awareness of the ways one spends time on a daily basis. This definition includes the evaluation of the quality and quantity of one's activities and their influence on the overall working process of time management is applied to. Going through the activities of the day, one would be likely to identify some of their habits that can be seen as useful or harmful to process improvement and productivity. The most important attribute of good time management is the focus of the manager. It is crucial that one moves their focus from the process and its qualities to the final results it might create. Being busy is often associated with high achievements, but in practice, the correlation is the opposite. It is believed that to produce good results, one is to work hard, but in reality, all that is required is working smart. Traditionally, time management is associated with one's ability to accomplish more assignments and duties within a certain period of time, but often the first task for a time manager is to eliminate some of the activities and habits that kill productivity. The most efficient killer of productivity in the contemporary world is a distraction that usually leads to procrastination and consumes hours of valuable time that could be spent on useful accomplishments. Modern technological progress has created a variety of means for distraction, such as smartphones, computers, and the Internet. Due to everyone's total connectedness, individuals of all ages these days are frequently distracted from reading the news, scrolling through social networks, checking emails, and answering phone calls. One may give in to these distractions multiple times for short periods or a few times, ending up as lengthy sessions of procrastination. Regardless of the pattern, the results are similar in both cases, valuable time is lost, and the working process is interrupted. Elimination the habit of procrastinating is quite hard, especially knowing how addictive the internet and total connectedness can be. That is why the best way to address distractions is to organize them. For instance, emails and messages can be checked only during specially arranged breaks, and only those that concern work should be responded to. Leisure activities such as social visits to social networks can be included in the time management schedule as parts of lunch or coffee breaks conducted for the purpose of rest from work. However, it is important to remember that the most harmful property of distraction is the individual's inability to control the amount of time they consume. That way, careful planning of the day and sticking with the schedule is a key to keeping procrastination under control and preventing it from making a negative impact on daily activities. In addition to the activities and behaviors that need to be excluded, good time management requires some habits that one has to add to their daily life. First of all, the beginning of successful time management lies in the clearly established priorities for the project or a day. Secondly, having a very busy day, one is to be prepared for a high density of activities and tasks. It is important to keep them from piling up because doing several things at a time serves as an ultimate distraction and productivity killer. A multitude of activities can be managed by means of delegation or hierarchical organization based on the priorities set previously. Besides, the plan for the day is to include breaks between the activities since switching instantly from one task to another is unrealistic, so if the items of a plan are too close together, there is a risk of not getting into some of them in time. In other words, interruptions need to become a part of the schedule. To conclude, 
Time management is not as much a specific set of new behaviors to learn as it is a list of things to cross out of one's daily activities. Time management is based on the elimination of the main errors an individual makes during the day. Among them, there are distractions, procrastination, inability to delegate, attempts to do several things at a time, and planning tasks without any breathing time in between. This essay on time management at the workplace was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for.